Hi, welcome to Mary's the New Evangelization.com. My name is Tom, and I want to talk to you about Franciscan University this weekend. It was the Defending the Faith Conference, and I was able to go to the conference and catch two talks. The first talk was by a doctor historian on the Crusades and he was very pro-Crusade. I mean he was there basically defending the Crusades like through and through. You know he didn't um, he didn't say that you know that everybody acted the way they should have acted personally, individually, but the whole concept, the whole idea, the whole uh, moving forward with the Crusades, that he was totally 100% behind this. So I said, well, what about St. Francis? He didn't, you know, he tried to convert the Muslims. He didn't try to kill the Muslims. And this is, you know, and that Jesus said in the New Testament for to Peter to put your sword away. So Peter put his sword away. And that's, and Pope Francis today told everybody to stop fighting. He told everybody, Iraq, Ukraine, Russia, America, everybody stop fighting. Israel. So you can't be justifying the Crusades and leave Francis, you know, out on a limb like that. You can't do that. You can't do that. St. Francis or Pope Francis, either one. So I couldn't even believe at a Franciscan university they had this guy who was, you know, defending this, saying that these guys wouldn't have gotten to heaven any other way than giving their life up in the Crusades. I mean, oh my goodness. He actually said that. So, anyway, you know, it, it you know opened up some discussion with for sure. And then I went to the Scott Hahn talk and that was, you know, some praise and worship, and it ended with adoration. But he talked about the, the saints in heaven. And he was saying that, you know, we're, sur we're surrounded by a cloud of witnesses, which we know is true. The, the saints who went before us, including Old Testament folks, we know they went to heaven because Moses and Elijah appeared to Jesus Christ. So that grace was working, okay? That grace was working for the elect. So they got to go to heaven. You can't say that they didn't get to go to heaven. When Jesus went down, you know, who were the saints that were walking around? Um, you want to talk about who the saints were that were walking around? Well, they could have been uh, they could not have been Moses and Elijah, like I'm saying, because Moses and Elijah had already, so they had to be just the, the good, the good souls. They were just the good souls that had died and Jesus had come to save them. So they're the ones walking around. I mean, they were probably apparitions is what was happening. There were apparitions of these people, their souls waking up. So, you know, so everything's good, but Scott then told everybody this story about the Dave Matthews band, and he wanted to uh, have a closer relationship with his son, so he found out that Dave Matthews is a great guy, and he allowed his son to go to the concert, but Dave Matthews band gives money to Planned Parenthood. They campaign for uh, Obama. They campaign for Planned Parenthood. 
So Planned Parenthood, I mean, why do I, why does anyone have to explain what Planned Parenthood does? Okay. Uh, we know what Planned Parenthood does. We don't support what Planned Parenthood does. We support what the Blessed Virgin Mary does. What does she do for the for these young girls? That's who we support. Okay? Dave Matthews is supporting the wrong woman, the wrong queen. He's got the anti-queen and, and we got the queen. So you can't promote bands that are funding the abortion demon. Can't do it. You cannot do it. So I don't think it was deliberate. I don't I, I get I guess he didn't know. You know, I guess he didn't know. In all the research he did on Dave Matthews, he he didn't find this information. So that's that's why people you have to support your pro life groups because they can get this information out. It's all over the internet. So anyway, it, it was a good weekend. I was glad to be there. Uh, I had a great talk with uh, Dr. Bergsma. He was at St. Peter's, Dr. Bergsma, Bible scholar, former Protestant minister who now teaches at Franciscan. And we talked about the Crusades with him. Uh, you know, and like I said, Pope Francis came out today and talked about St. Francis and talked about the end, no war. Okay, so there's your answer, everybody. No war. No war. That's not of God. It's not how we're supposed to handle our problems as human beings by going to war with one another. Jesus came to save the human race. If you're not close to Mary, you're not close to Jesus because God needed Mary. He didn't need you. He didn't need me. He needed Mary. So Mary was necessary in salvation. That's what you got to get. And I talked to a bunch of people in Steubenville this weekend who don't get it. They really don't get it. They, they still think she's an option. Mary is not an option. So, you know, the, the main thing is we have to be relevant and we have to be giving people guidance in this day and age. We're, our battles against the culture of death, the population control people, the, the uh, abortion industry, the contraception industry, the, the pro-gay marriage industry. These are all just tools to discourage procreation. That's what they're, that's what they are, you know. So you can't support them by any way, shape, or form. And, and you, we as Christians have to come together. It, even though you have doctrinal differences with your Christians, if they're pro-life, that's all you've got to worry about. Seriously, that's all you got to worry about. If they're not pro-life, you know, there's no peace. They, if somebody's not pro-life, there is no peace. So, who are you keeping company with? That's very, very important. So anyway, uh, I was glad to be there in Steubenville. There were a lot of good people that I ran into, that I met. And the last bit of information, guys, uh, they did hire a woman priest. The university hired an Episcopalian woman priest to teach theology part-time at the university. And her name is Dr. Judith Reverend Gentle, who does believe in the Blessed Virgin Mary. So that's the latest from Steubenville. Check out the website www.maryisthenewevangelization.com.